It's a super exciting day. I'm here in the Apollo showroom in Erina. It's time to meet with Jess. She's just setting up over there. I can't wait to see what Jess thinks of the design. I possibly overthought it, but I'm sure that she's going to turn something great into amazing. Jess, thanks for making time today. It's a little bit exciting, this whole job because now it's not a display home it's not for a client it's, it's for home. us that's right yes. um it's a massive job so you're sort of seen information that i've sent through mm -hmm. really ugly red brick house great bones big transformation and of course the kitchen and joinery is such a big component of changing that space there are a few things that we can do i know you're very good at what you do but yeah so am i so are you i know <laughs> you are i know you are um yeah so i wanted wall appliances i love wall ovens right <laughs> The room is not big enough to then have my pantry and where was I going to put a pantry? So this had to become the pantry area here. Yep. Sink in the middle of course there because it looks out over to the window. window. Mm -hmm. The island's not massive and I put that curve not just because, you know, on trend, but it's also a magic traffic area. So you'd be familiar with these, these beautiful, yes. like the Steckerwood product. Mm -hmm. um, they come with different finishes but they also come raw and that is allowing me to get you guys to polyurethane oh, make, yeah, them, we'll do it the right color it needs um, to be. and color match so i've got the concave and convex profiles i'm going to add that vertical detail as it sort of ribs around this way mm -hmm. what I, are you more drawn to well i like both but i think that the cove would work really effectively i think so too and i think it makes the room feel bigger as you walk in the ribs might make it give it more volume whereas this will give you that curve yeah, right. effect because like that sort of comes forward in this recesses yeah. dishwasher has to go here next to the sink i need yes. the plumbing but this has become now a fully integrated dishwasher because I'm happy not to see the controls. Yes. So corners are always a pain. It's really tight to get access in there. What are your thoughts? We can do a corner carousel. Hattic do a great one. It's got the cutout for the doors and then you can spin the top two shelves. Yep. And that gives you access into the full okay. unit. So um, you can see that all of the measurements we put on here um, a pretty well balanced one. Yeah, look, the design is functional. I can see you've laid everything out in the right areas where you've got sufficient storage, everything is going to work, two people can work in the kitchen without getting in the other person's way. Um, what colours were you... So, I brought a few things to, to have a play with and I've been doing all this already. This is our floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's a beautiful brushed finish American oak. Our walls are a crisp white, so I'm wanting to play with the green tones. I've got these in the colourways, but as far as the finish, I'm really in love with the Polytech Vanette because I want it to look beautiful, but not to be high maintenance. We're this sort of in this family. This is more grey. Um, this is definitely more green, but it's quite light. You're drawn to the I like it darker. darker. I, I think the dark will look really elegant. You're going to have skylights put in, and you've got the windows correct. flashback, so there's lots of light. And the French in. doors opposite. So well, we'll have to get Sandra's input, obviously, but I think the green. The timber, yeah, it's going to look beautiful. It's going to come together really nice. But really interestingly, you guys also um, have a stonemason arm as well, that's so fine. you can do the whole thing. Like that's we'll a one-stop shop for me is amazing. So okay. you get the bench top. Yeah. In. See with these two colours, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Is to see which colour complements more. I think the darker definitely goes. hundred percent do. Okay, so obviously when you get the green, the whole colour scheme works really well. Yes, and I think the brass, along with a bit of the gold that comes through the bench top. Yeah, you can just really, see really it good. on in yeah, here. It's, gorgeous. it's very calm, it's very cool. It's very inside, outside, which is so Palm Springs. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, so that's the kitchen. Yeah. Now tell me about the other joinery items that you'll need. So explain this to me, because it looks like a laundry, but it looks like a bar? Is it, <laughs> what's happening here? Jess, I've come up with the perfect design of joinery for the Australian housewife. Are you ready for this? Yes. So, she can wash the clothes, yes. then take one step to the right, put the clothes in the linen and the brewing cupboard, and then make another step to the right, and make a martini. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's clever use of the space. Who does the cleaning in your household out of the two of you? Yeah, yeah probably Sandro. I'm not dirty, I'm just messy. <laughs> but I've put the curve because I've replicated the curve from the kitchen, you see yep. them all. But it also softens that area as you walk into a tight space. I do agree that the curves are going to open up the room and make it feel roomier like you've done in the kitchen. But just hear me out. Yeah. I can make it a little bit more fabulous if yeah, I may. Yeah, I love fabulous. Have you thought about putting a glass door in this and maybe carrying this curve through to the top so that it it's softens the room and as you enter you get that symmetrical it's flowing through? Yeah, great idea to be able to replicate there. This I think the idea that you have with the laundry flowing onto the bar is a fantastic idea. However, have you thought about putting a bar fridge down here? <coughs> 
I knew that you were going to say that. <laughs> it's something that we talked about. Um, I think what's important as well is once we've check measured it and we know where things need to be adjusted, Happy what we're going to need to do next is get all of your appliance model numbers so yes. we can get the specs. So we'll need the sink, the fridge, cooktop, oven, microwave, all of those mm -hmm. for all the areas. Um, and then we'll come out and do a check measure. So we'll check the walls, how level they are, the floors, make sure the measurements are all correct. And then we'll be able to make those adjustments and fine tune the design. I'm super excited. Me too. I can't wait. So obviously I've known James and Apollo has worked with him for quite some time doing his clients' renovations. What's especially exciting about this one is that it's his own renovation, so he gets to enjoy it. Um, now he's a fantastic designer, but I'm a very good designer myself, so there's a few things I'd like to do to make the design more functional uh, and add to it. It's a really great project to work on. Now, the fact that he's doing it locally is especially exciting for me. I'm based here on the Central Coast and he's only 20 minutes away. We've got a beautiful showroom, so it's very exciting to do this, yeah. For me, I've been dealing with Apollo now for many years for my own clients. Great company that can deliver the level of service and quality that you're looking for. Another great thing about Apollo is that they have a stonemason arm of the business, so they can deal with the stone bench tops inside and out. An added bonus is that I'm here in Erina now. This is about 20 minutes away from our property. So I'm able to keep this beautiful idea of staying local and using local trades and local businesses, which is such an important part of the story of what we're trying to do with this project.